Sexual harassment is a very real problem. And now, it's also a virtual problem, as millions of women report harassment in multiplayer online games. Often subjected to explicit messages and even threats, many women will pretend to be men online to avoid harassment. Game developer and author of a guideline on harassment in gaming, Renee Gittins. I've been harassed when I've been playing games online multiple times. How do you know if you're being virtually harassed or if you're just being virtually too sensitive? My emotions have very little to do with it. I've received death threats. I've had um, really rude and graphic messages sent to me. Did the person who virtually harassed you face any consequences? Unfortunately not. Wow, that is so lifelike. But is sexual harassment in gaming really a problem? I consulted with an authority, men. I know a few female friends that have feel, felt mistreated in gaming. I've seen them be harassed online in front of me. Things like, um, oh, she's a chick, uh, she must not be any good, or oh, I bet she's got big hooters. I wouldn't assume somebody would be getting sexually harassed, man or a guy. Man or a guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What about women? What about them? How do we reach gamers who spend all their time gaming to stop being so rapey? I think that if they could empathize with the people who've suffered harassment, perhaps they would have a better insight. I wanted to help gamers empathize with the harassment women face. So I created a fully immersive virtual reality sensory experience of what it's like to be a woman. To make it feel authentic, I modeled my game off of recent accounts of sexual harassment and even hired this adult film actor. It's me, good old Harvey, all right? Although he didn't quite take to my directing style. Hey James, are you hard yet? After a little pep talk, my game was nearly complete. Now I just needed some consenting, but unsuspecting, gamers. I've been gaming my whole entire life. I do get addicted to some games. Tekken, Mortal Kombat. What are your thoughts on PC culture? Like political correctness culture? Yeah. It's spiraling out of control. If you can't handle it, then get off the internet. Me too movement? Yeah, I think that was just bound to happen. I think it's a very uh, it's very important and very good movement. You can hop on the sue wagon and sue something and say, hey, I was part of that. I mean, I think that that's unfortunately a big thing going on. It's partly the victim's fault. To prep our gamers for the full female experience, I thought it might be helpful to introduce them to some subtle sexism first. Let's just do a little twirl. Okay. If it's loose, let me know. The last guy was a little bit like, just kind of broader in that crotch area. Oh, really? So this is like a remote. I'm sure you're probably used to things like yeah. this size in your hand. Pop quiz. The O-N, what is that? Well, it turns the game on. Perfect. Okay, the on button. Sorry about that. Yeah, I could eat you. You smell so good. <laughs> no, it's okay. We gotta get you a helmet. Okay, this is, um. Not gonna fit your head. Do we have a smaller headset? Here, come here. Okay. What, what size do you think? Uh, probably, we could probably do a women's medium. Okay. Turn a 180. Yeah. I know, like, guys aren't that great at math. What do you see in front of you? The wood door. Great, okay. Have so much fun, and, and please, don't forget to smile. Okay. Welcome. Oh, you know what? Sorry, I have to take this, but enjoy the game. So I don't need that anymore. I'm not doing this. 
Okay. I don't feel comfortable okay, with doing this. Totally, that's really <laughs> did you ex did you expect me to stay on this the whole time? Yeah. Really? If you are sensitive, we I want like, to honor that. Yeah. No, I just I just like it. All right, I'll try it one more time. Are you sure? Yeah, I will. The minute that you feel unsafe, All right? You will let me know. Yeah. And the door is unlocked. Would you mind just trying one more time then? Are you sure you want to do it? Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> what the f Do you mind if I jack off in front of you? Gross. <laughs> Shame you have such a small penis. Dude, what the f <sighs> Do you feel safe? Yeah, I feel safe. Are you sure that you feel safe? Oh, no, yeah, I do. I'm just, he's going by the plant. Game over. You can take off your headset. Cool. I wonder if that really happens in like business settings. It must. Hmm. Which demo did you get? Did you get the casting demo or the interview demo? Uh, I think it was the interview demo. How did you like that? <laughs> I liked the realism, but uh, I didn't like the experience. Um, did you learn anything from this experience? Nope. Did you learn anything from this experience? You guys are assholes. Okay. Some of the women that are in these situations may give the false impression that they're interested or that they're open to certain advances. Do you know any female gamers? Yeah. I mean, not... Not, uh, not really. I know... I'm a so... I'm You've heard so that they exist. Yeah. Okay. Did it give you anxiety? Yeah. Yeah, it did. <laughs> and did it give you empathy? Yeah, it did. Mm. Do you think that men who harass women should be in positions of power? Absolutely not. But I'm a Trump. I believe in Trump. I don't know if this is that. Is, are you guys making correlations with Trump voters versus... No, okay. you just did that yourself. Yeah. So this, like, sprays out water and this is the thing that like made me feel like something was touching me here. Like I kept feeling something right here or somewhere like right here. And I was like thinking, I was like, I thought you were like, like part of the experience, like you were just touching me or something. Well, that's the suit. What the f That's trippy, dude. Yeah, nothing touched you. No, I saw liquid here. I don't know what to tell you, but there was no liquid there, so. That's gaslighting. That is gaslighting. Mission accomplished. But there are so many gamers who may never get to play my game. So for now, maybe the best way to avoid harassment in gaming is to just not play. Which begs the question, why do you still game? It's so people like me can go slay dragons and believe they're actually doing it. Virtual reality, even with roving bands of sex offenders, is still more fun than let's say our current reality with just a few sex offenders who have floated to the top. Do you think an experience like this might help somebody who doubts stories of victims? I think more convincing would be hidden camera. So if we did the same thing in a hidden camera setting and then put it on television, you think that that would be more impactful than this? That would be more convincing.